Hello teachers, this is Ricardo, and today we are reintroducing, relaunching Mastery by Instructor. You might know it as Mastery Connect, a great MTSS or PLC tool that is designated for immediate formative assessment in the classroom so that we teachers can respond to the need of reteaching or intervention in real time. I've also seen this tool used in PLCs, uh, sharing common formative assessments to have real discussions about data. Because data collection is immediate and the reports are automatic, we teachers can spend more time using the data rather than collecting it. So let's go ahead and see how this works. Before we start, just wanted to show you a couple of things about mastery. Instant Insight. This is the only tool that will tell us if a student is mastering a standard. We have no other tool like this at our district. Choices and choices. So if you want to give a quick multiple choice, you want to use a performance-based assignment, a rigorous test. I've seen teachers use it for their midterms and finals, or maybe just raw data. You can use this tool. We can use a curricular map. We're going to start slow by just using our trackers inside of Canvas. Teacher teamwork. Again, the data is incredible. It can lead to amazing, meaningful conversations, and it happens to be best friends with Canvas. So today, in addition to this, just so you know, our district also has access to this amazing mastery item bank with thousands and thousands of questions to create assessments that are based on standards and we have this amazing master review form of assessments that use this quick assessments with three or four questions to allow us insightful information about whether or not our students are mastering a standard. So today we're going to start really quick. We're just going to show you how you would for the first time tie your mastery tracker to a Canvas course. So you're going to look at your global navigation, look for mastery tracker. It's going to take you there. You're going to say link mastery tracker. It's going to ask you to select a source. And for this year, we're going to use create a new tracker from a standard set event Eventually, we're going to be using curricular maps, create a new tracker for a standard set. It's going to recognize your class. And for now, you're going to decide if you're elementary, you're going to decide to use maybe language arts or math. Let's all start with language art. If you are teach middle school or high school, it's going to be very specific. If I teach Spanish, then I will pick Spanish world languages. It's going to ask for the core. So notice that I'm going to pick find in here, California, common core standards. And I want you to pick unpack and it's going to ask for class in here. So I'm going to go in here and obviously, I'm going to go to the particular one that I'm doing first, second, third, fourth, fifth grade. So depending on what grade you teach, you're going to say that grade. And when you are set, you're going to say link. It's going to think and it's going to actually link this Canvas course with that tracker that you have created with the standards that you selected. So notice that now that it's done, it's going to put it together and it's going to give us that tracker right in here. That is as far as we are going to get today. Eventually, we're going to talk about how you can pick essential standards, how you can start giving assignments. But notice how everything is in here now. I haven't done any assessments yet, but this is all we need for today. If you have any questions, please let me know. Have a great day.